is Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. You're gonna wanna see this one. Delicious, fresh blueberry biscuits with glaze. <laughs> blueberry biscuits. We're going to make a little bit of glaze while they're cooking. Let's get started. We're going to start out with two cups of self-rising flour. These are half cup scoops, so I'm going to put in four of these. And I've got flour in my sifter ready. I've got a blending fork and we're gonna use about a quarter cup of shortening. So we're gonna blend the shortening into the flour with our blending fork and our wonderful Pyrex bowl, which just is shaped perfectly to do this with. So you're going to blend your shortening in until it's about pea size. Now today, because I'm making a sweet biscuit, I am using half and half instead of buttermilk. But now you don't have to. But we're gonna go ahead and start adding some cream. And you're gonna to wanna to add cream, mix it, and add, go ahead and continue to add cream until all of your flour is incorporated into your dough. And you want to go and, you know, you need to stir it every time because you don't want to put too much milk in it. This is half and half, which means it's half cream, half whole milk. Some people don't know what half and half is, so you can use any cream that you want to. You can use whipping cream. You can use uh, evaporated milk, just heavy cream, whatever you want to use to do these. So that's about how you want your dough to look. You want it to cling together, but not be real, you know, soggy. Now we're going to flour our surface and put it out. And I'm going to incorporate the blueberries at this, at this point and a little sugar. I am in the mood for something sweet today. So let's get a little sugar. This is about an eighth cup of sugar. And now I'm gonna put our blueberries out on top. We're gonna use about a half cup. Now these blueberries are dry. If you want to wash your blueberries, then you need to wash them and let them dry out before you put them in your dough. So now we're just going to knead it some. So I'm gonna flip them over. And this is gonna be kind of crazy, but we're gonna do it. Kind of like when I made the scones, you know, the blueberries are going to kind of make a mess. So 
So the best thing to do is just fold them in lightly like that. And we won't be needing this dough. So I'm gonna press it down and cut them out. Now we're going to take a little shortening and put some shortening on our pan. And then I'll back y'all up so y'all can see me. Put them on the pan. These will be good, especially with some glaze on them. All right, so we're gonna use our biscuit cutter. I'm gonna put me a little bit of flour right here. And we're gonna cut these out. Now, notice that I did not press them hard because the juice would have went everywhere. So now that it's time to do it again, um, you just kind of got to be delicate with it. Me and my mama worked at a bakery, and I worked there, we worked there from the time I was about, I was in the ninth grade when I started working there, and we would stop every morning on the way to the bakery. Now, granted, we were going to a bakery that had donuts and everything, but we would stop every morning on the way at Hardy's and get their uh, blueberry biscuits. Of course, they didn't have fresh blueberries in them. But that was just one thing me and Mama always enjoyed was having those blueberry biscuits in the morning on the way to work. They were so good. They're going to go in in the oven at 450 degrees and bake until they're nice and golden brown. right there and I'm going to put some butter on top of it. I got thinking after I made these when we went through parties we actually got cinnamon raisin biscuits. When we went through Bojangles we got blueberry and they call theirs bowberry and of course they don't have fresh blueberries but any of them's good any kind of biscuits good biscuits are good plain with jelly and they're really good with Cinnamon raisin, apples, you can put anything in them. Okay, now we're going to use the soft butter and make some glaze right quick. So I'm going to use a bowl. Use about two tablespoons of soft room temperature butter. I'm going to add about a half a cup of sugar, powdered sugar, if that is. And you may need some cream as well. So just put in about a teaspoon to start with. That was probably more like a tablespoon, actually. Tablespoon. Might do it. 
and just keep pressing it in, pressing it in, and it's going to mix up good. You can also put a little vanilla flavoring in there if you want to, but if you do, remember that's liquid, and so that's going to add liquid to it. So if you use vanilla flavoring, you will use a little bit less cream. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this glaze and go over here and glaze our biscuits while they're hot. And I like for it to be kind of thick like that when it goes on, uh, especially when the biscuits are nice and warm. And that way it will melt down in there. And that should be plenty for this many biscuits. Chris loves a lot of glaze on anything that I make. He's the glaze nut. He loves it to be real sweet. Now I'm ready to taste them. See how good they are. I'm ready to sink my teeth into this one. That's so good. Better than a donut to me. There's nothing like a biscuit. If you're not from the South and you've never had a biscuit, get you some stuff and make one of these and you're going to love them. Mmm. They are so delicious. With my coffee on a Saturday morning. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.